Good afternoon. One of Labour's newest MPs, Jared O'Mara, has plunged the party into a fresh sexism row after comments he posted online came to light, including calling overweight women fatties who don't deserve our respect. It comes just days after fellow MP Clive Lewis was forced to apologise for his choice of words at an event during Labour conference. Jared O'Mara, who took the Sheffield Hallam seat from Nick Clegg in June's election, was writing on a music forum more than a decade ago. Let's take a few examples, should we, of what he said. Speaking about Michelle McManus's pop idol win. She only won because she was fat. I also dislike the prevailing Western tendency to defy fatties. There is nothing noble or admirable about glutting on loads of fatty foods and making yourself obese and ill. He also wrote, Girls Allowed, I advise you to sack Sarah and the remaining four members, Nicola, Cheryl, Nadine and Kimberly, come have an orgy with me. The Labour MP has released a statement reacting to the allegations. He said this, These comments were posted years ago with no offence intended. I apologise for any caused. Alex Wickham, news editor at Guido Forks, the online Westminster Gossip website, which broke the story with us now. Um, that was a bit of a boyfriend apology from him, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's the classic uh, apology for offence caused. I mean, he says there's no offence intended. I'm not sure how you can say some of the things and not intend any offence. It seems like it was maximum offence intended. I mean, you know, on the one hand, we all say things when we're very young, perhaps, that we regret. We, you know, if you were a, a teenager or something like that, of course, you know, you, you wouldn't want to be held accountable to every single thing you said, uh, you know, perhaps uh, as a 17-year-old. As a but he was in his mid-20s when he made these comments. And, they, you know, there have been other comments that have been reported on about Mr O'Mara from only a few years ago. So, you know, it does seem that uh, there is a little bit of a problem here. And given, you know, we had another uh, Labour MP, Clive Lewis, who just three days ago had to apologise for his own uh, questionable comments, it seems like this is becoming a bit of a theme. But Alex, it was before he was a public figure. Should we not take that into account? Well, yes, that is true. Um, I think the precedent that is similar is the Labour MP Naz uh, Shah, who made some uh, questionable anti-Semitic remarks a few years before she became an MP. And she had to stand down from the select committee that she sat on while she sort of went on a bit of a journey to realise that well, those those views were, were not OK. And I think, you know, Mr Omar is in a bit of a similar situation where he, perhaps these comments were made a few years ago although some, some uh, other comments were more recent, although perhaps a period of reflection on his behalf might be sensible. He has repented, has he not, somewhat, given that he's now on the Women in Equalities uh, Committee in the House of Commons? Well, sort of, but, you know, it's just that classic apology that we always get from politicians, isn't it, for offence caused. You know, the, the problem is what we're, what we're increasingly seeing at the moment is this a little bit of a macho uh, culture among certain uh, male MPs on the left. We see it on Twitter with some of the abuse that is dealt out to female uh, Tory MPs and Labour MPs. Um, you know, we had a female MP, Angela Eagle, had a brick thrown through her window. Uh, you know, we've had a, a female Labour MP, Ruth Smith, reduced to tears by uh, a male uh, Labour supporter at a, at a meeting. You know, this does appear to go on quite a lot and it does always at the moment seem to be coming from the same sort of area. So I think this is an issue that you know, the Labour Party will want to address and this story involving Mr Amara, you know, it doesn't look particularly good in light of in light of the news over the last few weeks. What do you think is going to happen to him? I think it would be sensible for him to take a little bit of time off the, the Women's and Equalities Committee. I mean, the great irony of this entire story is that Jared O'Mara now sits on the, the Women's and Equalities Committee, which is very ironic considering some of the lewd uh, and rude comments that he was making a few years ago. Um, you know, perhaps he says that he didn't, he didn't intend any offence. Well, you know, if he really meant that, I think he might take a little bit of time off and, uh, you know, come back once he's, you know, learned that these are the sort of things you can't really say. What do you think his leader might do? 
well, you know, we saw Jeremy Corbyn over the weekend with Clive Lewis. And to be fair to uh, Corbyn, he did you know, quite forcefully tell Clive Lewis that what he had said was wrong and that, you know, it was unacceptable. Nothing like removing the whip or any sort of actual censure against him. Um, but, the, you know, the pressure will be on because this does appear to keep be keep happening. You know, the pressure will be on Jeremy Corbyn as well to you know, try and get a hold of this situation and try and tell his supporters that, you know, you can't just go around saying things like this about, about people on the Internet. OK, thanks a lot. Wait to hear uh, more from uh, the Labour leadership. Um, we heard, of course, uh, from Mr. Amara saying that it was a long time ago and he's sorry if anybody was offended.